guys welcome to another video uh, i'm so excited about today's video one because you're finally starting yoga and and this will be my first flow of the year uh, i'm so looking forward to this i think more than you guys are but i think right now we are both beginners <laughs> but anyway we'll 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 start this process together and as we go you can you can choose to start with whatever you have and that's the beauty of yoga you do not need uh so much to start you just need something that is going to cushion your your joints your your knees you see the, the kneecaps and and that so uh, i'm going to give you a brief history of how i started yoga or when i started yoga and what you're going to need to start your own journey in yoga um so let's let's get right into it I started yoga in 2018, late 2018. During that time, I, I didn't have a job, so I really had a lot of time at my disposal, but I didn't have anything to do. And I didn't want to watch movies because I feel like you're wasting time. I, I was doing some other form of fitness. It's mostly cardio and skipping rope taking a walk all those things but then when you go for a walk it can be one hour 30 minutes so i really needed something that was going to consume my time and one day as i was just organizing the house i came across a small booklet and i opened it and it had yoga poses so i didn't know much about it last time so i googled and i went into youtube i went to instagram but my biggest drive has been instagram because i chose pictorials over tutorials so the pictorials had a sequence which i could easily follow based on how my body could get into those poses where i was at that time so that's how I started actually. And when I started, I didn't have a, tea, a yoga mat. I didn't have all the props that I do right now. But I didn't want to have excuses as to why I didn't want to start or why I couldn't start. So what I did, I took a blanket that I do not use. And then because it's made of wool, it's extremely stretchy. So you, I took less off once i you fold it into half so that it can based on your height <laughs> meaning to be so you fold it into half and then i put a less off on top of it because less off now is made of cotton it's uh stiffer and it's not as elastic so that one helps prevent the stretchiness when you're getting into a pose and whatnot up until the time I actually got to buy my first yoga, so I was saving towards it, and I had to Google. I didn't have like uh, I didn't know where to get them first. And then I went to the game store at Garden City, and the ones I found there were pretty expensive <laughs> for me that time. And then I went to Gigi. By then it was by Lex. And I got a store that sells them and I bought one so that's the one I have been using up until the time that I actually bought one that I want not the ultimate one the ultimate ones hmm. they are still pricey <laughs> but uh, I'm saving towards them and eventually I got most of the props that I want so you see, as you're doing them, you realize you need some props to help you get into some poses or to help you, to help support you because you outgrow the world eventually. And though you're not yet there, without the wall, you need something, not necessarily, but you can practice with the wall until you get to that point. But the more you advance, the more you realize this might actually work so you you end up getting more stuff so i'll tell you what you will need as a beginner so as a beginner you just need a mat or if you do not have a mat but you have this um, carpet 
not the plastic ones, the ones made of, I think it's synthetic cotton or wool, that one, easy, easy mats, decorative mats that you have in the house for, so you can use that until the time you get uh, your own mats, but if you're in a position to purchase one, you can do, I think the cheapest goes for 1500 you can get them at the game store, at decathlon and at um, there's a store fitness store at Surrey center and also one at westgate the nike shop i think and also at nairobi sports house you can get them there so and other online platforms i think on gd you can get a variety but you realize the more you do that the more you realize the quality is totally different so for me, I nowadays prefer ones that do not slide on the wall or on the floor. That they are, they adhere to the to the floor quite well. Like like the one I have right now, it's thin, yes, and it cushions my my joints and my calves and and all that. I, I do not get hurt at all. But you will find that the way it had adheres to the to the floor, it's quite good so but if you're starting you can start with just any mat that can cushion your calves and your elbows and all that let me show you what i have i have these yoga blocks i got them from miniso so any miniso store locally that is and they were they were they were relatively cheap each went for around 450. so that's where i got the yoga blocks from and then um this is my favorite one it's it's a yoga wheel uh it's really helpful with the back back uh, exercises and for the for days that i am not actually practicing or i'm not in a position to practice but i need to stretch my back or i feel like i or kama nizile siku you've spent in the office sitting especially those who have eight to five jobs this is very helpful ukitoka i'll show you how to use it and yes so this lifesaver <laughs> you can, i also use it for other yoga poses like stretching my hamstrings and when i'm getting into a form stand before i could actually do it once i was confident with the wall i needed to be confident without the wall but without falling the buyer so this is what helped me but you can always practice with the wall and kill a time when i practice now you need some significant distance between you and the wall so this was very this is my favorite <laughs> And then we have uh, a yoga strap. So this one is usually for the flips. Um, you can use it to stretch uh, your shoulders and whatnot. You can use it as a band, as a resistance band. But for me, I usually use it for flips. If I am doing bow poses, if I am doing the... Um, dancer pose this is what got me to it but you can also use it like this you see so it's it's quite long it has a buckle that you you can adjust for both poses that i do i use this and for the flip back flip or the dancer pose i use this it's good but if you don't have it before i got this i used to get you see this card that we cotton scarves to tie a knot you tie it around your feet i'll show you uh, assuming this is a scarf you just tie it around your feet or the foot the one you're using ensure that it's secure visually so once you tie it you can actually now use the the scarf that you have at home so see lazimo when i strap this one I got it later on when I could now afford such luxuries. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and then we have resistance band. I use it, you use it. 
let me just show you i don't know how to explain this basically when you want to get into proper form and you want to avoid your hands from sliding i use this it helps nikieka even and you overflow it's like this height i move and i also use it kwa mgu like i'll illustrate how this one can be used later on or you put them on both feet and then it helps with the tension of the muscles and the joints so that's the resistance but they come in different um thicknesses based on the level of elasticity or resistance that you're going to get from such bands so these ones are for that but i also have um longer and thicker resistance bands so these bands are good for stretching like this so you can always adjust the resistance so this ones also come in different thicknesses different level of um elasticity and they offer different resistance um levels so you can use this in all your workouts see yoga begeke resorte this is also another one i it's also just a resistance band um the purpose of this band is just to help stretch help you stretch and offer support help is the tension inasaidia kukua a flexible kidogo lakini it it gives me a concept i got from high school basketballers used to tie sandbags you tie sandbags then you you practice with the sandbag so it helps you build a uh, strength so that you can tie those sandbags you are extremely light so that's how you see they they practice with sandbags kampu you need a fire anyway we can start now um if you don't have this it does not mean that you can't actually practice yoga bora tu uko na mat you can always practice yoga and the beauty about yoga is that you can always improvise you can actually start yoga with everything you have at home right now i jaliish i'm sure most of us have that uh, rug it's a rug or a carpet that's made of fur not necessarily fur but would you you know that not the plastic carpets the the rugs themselves so you can actually start with that until you're able to get yourself one of these things it's just to protect yourself safety first before we start i would like to mention something very important the thing with yoga is that it's not a competition with anyone it's just how your body feels whenever you get into a mat today you might feel extremely good and you you can get into those poses easily but tomorrow hata hivi hutaweza so uh always listen to your body always breathe when you're getting into those poses breathe never stop breathing you just breathe i can't emphasize that enough two never force a pose it, yoga is not painful it's it's beautiful it go with your face just because you've seen someone can do something phenomenal doesn't mean you are you are there yet they take time you get frustrated at times because you've been at it for two months and you still can't do a handstand or a headstand by yourself but it doesn't matter we progress at different rates but uh, it always gets better with time it gets better with time with consistency and patience and discipline so ensure that once you start you're extremely disciplined you're patient with yourself and you're kind to your body because when you have one body this is my home <laughs> anyway 
we can we can all start. yoga journey in the next or in future videos we are now going to actually start i'll show you proper form and then from there you can follow uh remember to like comment share widely uh tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> and subscribe don't forget to turn the notification bell so that you're notified every time i put up a new video see you in a future video